In this video, I'm showing you how you can go and create your own website. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. And once you have subscribed, please go and leave a like as well. I'd like to say a huge thank you to Wix for sponsoring this video. I really do appreciate it. And we've partnered up to make an awesome tutorial for you. The link to get started in this tutorial is in the description and in the pinned comment. So without any further ado, let's go and get into this. So now let's go and get straight into this video. So here is the website I'm using. It's called Wix, as I've previously mentioned. I've gone and put the link in the pinned comment and in the description. And as I just said, it's one of my favorite places to go and build websites. So let's go and get straight into this. So the first thing you want to do is simply come to wix.com and go and create an account. So as you can see here, I've got my account here. And now when you first create a Wix account, it may try and get you to build a website. Personally, I just kind of skip through that and then make sure I come to the dashboard and get started from here. Uh, there's way more options and I find it a lot more straightforward. So I'm starting the tutorial from here. So the first thing you want to do is go and create a new website. To do this, what you want to do is come to the top right and then scroll down until you see create a new site. So click here and then you're going to get this pop up here. And here we go. It's then going to run us through um, starting the build of the new website. So the first option you're going to get is what kind of website should this be? I'm going to go and click on business, but you can change this in a minute as well if you like. And for this tutorial, I'm covering the create your website with the editor. Uh, you have a lot more design features, um, so I'm using this. So click edit a template, and then it's going to take you to the list of all the templates. Now, as you can see here, you can actually go and check out the other templates as well um, if you want to. So I'll go through all of these. As you can see, you've got a ton of options um, and there's a lot to choose from. Personally, I'm going to go and look in the creative ones. and I think I'm going to go for a personal, um, personal sort of portfolio. So then click there and it's going to list all of the options we have here. So one which looks cool for me is this one here. I think it sort of goes over everything I want to have inside a website. And I'm building this website for my YouTube channel. So then you can go and click on you can view it. Personally, I already know I like it. So I'm going to go and click edit. And then we can go straight into editing this template and customizing it to be our own website, which is super, super cool. But before we get any further, I just want to quickly save this site. So come to the top right, click on save, and then you can go and get a free Wix.com domain, or you can connect your own. For now, I'm just going to use the free one, and I'm just going to name this Tutorial Tucker, like so. And then I'm going to go and click save and continue. The first thing I'm going to go and do is upgrade this site. Personally, upgrading it just gives you a ton more features and that's what I'm going to do. So to upgrade, what we want to do is click on upgrade. So I just upgraded my account and now let's go and continue with this video. So before we get too much further, I want to quickly run down some of these functions on the sidebar. So all you want to do is click on pages and it's going to go and list all of the pages you have. So you've got about me, resume, projects, contact. Now, as you can see, we've got this little house here. This means this page is going to come up when people come to the main and not to a sub page. So if you want to change any of these pages to your main page, simply click on it and then click on the three dots here and you can go and click on set as home page. And then we've got the theme manager as well. And here you can go and change all of the site colors, uh, which is really cool as well. And you can change the theme here as well. Then we've got the backgrounds section. So you can go and choose a background. So you can change this to, we've got videos here as well. Uh, and you've got pictures. So there's a lot to choose from. And you can also go and add apps. If you click here, it's going to go and give us a ton of apps you can add. Some of these are free and some of these are paid for. Uh, and these are really useful, especially for certain sites. Then you can come and click on the media section and you can go and see site files I've uploaded. As you can see, I uploaded my logo um, and you can go and upload other stuff as well. And then at the bottom, you've got a blogging section. So click here and you can go and add a blog to your website, which is really, really cool. And it gives you the advantages here. So the first thing I want to do is on this home page, I'm going to go and edit it all so it actually fits me. So I'm going to start right at the top where it says this, uh, Maya Nelson. So I'm going to change this to my name. So click on it. Then all I want to do is click on edit text. And then as you can see here, I can now go and type in my name. And then I can go and drag this along as well by holding this. And it's going to go and make the text box bigger. So it's all fitting on one line. And then you can go and move this along as well, like so. And I'll move that slash along here as well. And that's literally how you customize it, guys. You can literally move everything. It's all fully customized, which I absolutely love. And you don't have to mess with any code. So that's starting to look really good. I'm just going to now change project manager to YouTube. So I'm going to click on it and click edit text and then go and type in YouTube. And you can, of course, change the font by simply clicking on here. I could go and have this on uh, Brie. And you would then go and select it all and then go and click Brie like so. And then it goes and adds it to that. If you don't like something, you can just do Control Z. It's going to go and put it back to how it was before. And also you can add animation. So simply click on the text and then go and click on this little button here, animation. And then you can go and choose how you like it to a bounce. You can have it a glide. Uh, you can literally have so many different effects. So that's the header part of this website now complete. Now I'm going to go and focus on this main bit here. So here I'm going to go and change this picture here to my profile picture. So simply click on the image and then you can go and click change image here. 
and then it's going to go and bring up this so click on upload media and it's going to bring this upload media option here and you can go and upload from your computer now i'm now uploading the image here as you can see uploading one item and then i'm going to go and click choose image then it's going to go and put it in there and that's absolutely looking really cool then I'm going to go and change this text and this text here as well so it matches the site. And then once you've put in the stuff you'd like here, then come to the bottom bar of this page and you can go and edit the social bar. So simply click on it and then you can go and click set social links. So click on there and then it's going to go and give you the different social medias. Then click on it and then you want to come over to the right and you can choose the link in what you want it to take it to. For example, I don't really use um, Facebook, say, so I click on the remove image. And now it has moved the social icons off center uh, because I did remove a few. So I'm going to quickly drag this back to the middle. There we go. That's now perfectly in the middle. And now let's move over to the right hand side. So a lot of the text here already matches it really well. So for example, the hello and here's who I am. That is all perfect. I'm just going to go and add some text here and write a bit about me and a bit about what I sort of create. So simply click on it once and then you click edit text and then we can go and type in what we want. You can also make, make it bold, italic, underline it and make it bigger as well. And also I'm going to go and center this text. So simply highlight it and then go and press on this alignment. And then I'm going to go and go for this center one, just like so. I just think it looks a bit cleaner and overall looks nicer. So this is what I've written. I'm really happy with it personally. I just put I'm a content creator and then check out some of my useful tutorials. And of course you can add effects. You can add line spacing, virtual text, SEO and accessibility is really, really key to add. Um, basically, it's going to allow you to come up in Google and you can outrank other websites, gaining you more traffic for that search term. So now I'm going to click off this and here we are. So this is the page. It's actually quite a simple page, which I do like. I like even websites simple. Now for this bottom bar as well, uh, we're going to go and change this as well. So there's all of this stuff here we need to go and change. For example, here, I would then go and change this uh, to my name. So I can add tutorial Tucker or my name Rob. So if you say you wanted to delete this cool bit here, simply click on it and then press the backspace and it's going to go and delete it like so. And I'm going to delete this number as well. These support lines are so useful as well when making sure things are centered as honestly, that's a really key part of a website. Everything looking centered for me. Now, if you want to change any of these colors as well, all you need to do is simply click on the box and then you want to go and click change strip background. So click it on that on it there. And you can then go and change your background. You could add videos, as you can see here, uh, or you can add images as well. To upload your own one, you simply click on image, and then you can go and either upload one, or you can choose one from Wix. So I'm going to go and click on none, though, as I want the white background to make the text very clear. And if you want to go and change the color, all you want to do is click where you'd like to change the color or that container box. So I want to change this one here, and then go and click change strip background. And then as you can see, that's the color there. So then go and click on color and then you can go and change the color. So I might go for a bit more of a gray theme, um, just like so, or you can keep it white, it's fully up to you. So you can also go and add some features to your site. To do this, all you need to do is click on the plus button, and that's gonna give you a ton of different features we could go and add. For example, I'm gonna go and add some uh, YouTube channel link like this, and these are gonna really customize your website, and these would be really hard to add in with code. This is why Wix is so great. So as I'm a YouTuber, I'm gonna go and add my channel video and a channel link as well. To do that, all you want to do is go and click on video and music, and then you can go and click on Wix video or single video players. Then I'm gonna go and click on YouTube, so I'm gonna click here, and then it's gonna go and drop a video player in, and then I can go and change the link which is displayed. So then I can go and put this literally anywhere on the site. So personally, I'm gonna go and put this down at the bottom. I'm gonna go and drag this box, make it a bit bigger. So to do that, all you want to do is go and grab on this strip here until you get the arrow, and then simply drag down like so. And then I'm going to go and center the video and go and set it to a video I'd like to show. Then simply go and click on change video and I can go and literally paste any link in. And I've now got a link of one of my videos, so I'm going to double tap here, paste it in like so. And then as you can see, that is one of my videos. And another feature I'm going to go and add is actually having your channel link with the subscribe button. To get this, all you want to do is simply go and click on social down here and then go and click on YouTube. And then as you can see here, you can go and get the subscribe button. And then I'm going to go and click on it and it's going to go and drop it in. And I'm going to go and put this just here above where it says, welcome to the tutorial tucker website. I line it up with the text and there we go. Perfect. And then you need to go and set your channel. So click here and then all you need to do is paste in the channel address. Then I'm going to paste mine in, hit enter. And there we go. It's now updated it and people can go and click subscribe on the website. It's really cool. And also you can go and add loads of other features as well. So now I'm really happy with this homepage. So now I'm going to go and edit the others. So simply come and click on pages and then come down to this list here and we can go and change the resume, the projects and the contacts. So I could click here and it's going to take me to this page and then I can go and add all of the experience I have. So if I've got a certain job or if I've done sort of some work experience or an internship, you could then write that all in here. 
and you could also go and add your CV here so it's really easy for someone to come and click on download and it's going to download your CV so if you say wanted to add that simply click on it here and then go and double click on it and then you can go and have a list so you, as you can see here you can go and add a link and then you can go and add a link to the download so the visitor can go and see your CV now I'm going to quickly change this background here so click on it and then click change strip background and then go and click color I'm going to make it that sort of light gray again looks perfect to me and I'm going to X off this and then you can go and type in all your experiences here like I said before you click on it once and then you can click edit text and it's the same for all of these functions now personally I'm going to go and remove this projects one here so simply click on the three dots and then go and click delete you're going to have this option here you want to delete your project page go and click yes and you can add this back as well by clicking add page so click delete and then it's going to go and remove it from this list and if I wanted to add it back click simply add page and we can go and add it back in and now I'm going to go and change my contact page so simply click on contact and here we go here is the contact page so the first thing I am going to do is change the color as always so click on change strip backgrounds and then go and click color and I'm going to go and change it to this gray here so now I'm simply going to go and change this here from let's talk I just want to add this to make it to contact us I just prefer that personally and then with this really awesome Wix form simply click on it and it's going to give us more information so click on form settings as you can see here any data collected is going to go and put it into a submission table and then you can go and you know um, catch up with that lead and go and see if they're interested in what you're offering so many settings you could add messages as well um, you can have payments so there's honestly so many useful things with this as well especially some of the functions Wix has it can really accelerate your business which I think is really really powerful so guys I think I've just finished my website I'm really happy with the outcome of it so all I'm going to do is come to the top right and click publish and as you can see here congratulations your site is now published and live online so we can go and connect the domain which I'm probably going to do at a later date I'm going to go and click on view site and here we are so this is the domain so if I want to um, share it to other people just simply double click that right click copy it and you could send it to your friends and anyone who's interested in your site and here we are we can now click through our website which we built in honestly guys a really short amount of time and then you can go and check out the other sections of the site like the resume and the contacts so I could click here and then here I could go and fill in all of this information here and yeah you guys that's literally it a huge thanks to Wix for sponsoring this video and there's a link down below if you're interested in getting Wix so thank you so much for watching I'll catch you in the next one peace